Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry and today I'm joined by my colleague Mackenzie Mills, an Associate Product Manager here at the company. Today Mackenzie will be talking to us about sharing scripts between coworkers. All right, Mackenzie, take it away. All right, so to start creating a script in order to share one in Global Mapper, I'm going to use the Global Mapper new user interface tool for a script builder to record some actions I'm taking through a workflow in order to you know, begin generating this script to share. So I'm going to start by loading some files from a directory tree, pointing to a directory folder and loading up some um, LAZ LiDAR files from that specific folder. Now, as these files load, we see that command recorded in the script builder dialog. It points to a directory. And at this point, the script that we're creating is data specific. So it's pointing to specifically the selected directory folder on my machine that I selected. Um, we'll edit the script later to remove that specific file path. But for right now, we're just gonna continue through this workflow to generate the rest of this script. So here I'm generating a digital terrain model out of only the ground classified points from these point cloud tiles. And then from that digital terrain model, I'm gonna create some two meter contours here. So generating these contour lines, again, all through the global mapper user interface, we're seeing those commands um, converted to global mapper script and recorded in the script builder. Now, since I've created two new data layers in this workspace, I want to save them outside of this specific workspace. So I'm gonna export them, exporting the digital terrain model to a global mapper grid format and exporting the generated contours layer to shapefile format, although any vector format will work here. So with these exports complete, um, as this contour export completes here, I'm saving the files to the selected directory folder, um, you know, where I loaded the data from. So all of the deliverables from this data set remain together. And we can see that those export commands are also recorded in the script builder. Now to go ahead and edit this script, I'm going to open it in the script editor in Global Mapper that can be done right from the script builder dialog. And I'm going to add a new command at the top of this script. This is going to be a define variable command. I'm going to name this variable folder and I'm gonna have Global Mapper prompt me to select a specific directory folder. Um, we're gonna use this variable name throughout the script to replace the you know, specific selected directory that's written in there now. So with this command, I'm you know, taking that data specific aspect out of this script so that it makes it so it makes it so I can share the script with another global mapper user and they can select, you know, the folder they would like to use to create some um, products from some LIDAR data. Um, as I go through this script to edit a little further, again, I'm putting that folder variable wherever I'm finding my file path. Um, written out in this script. It really is only in the import directory tree command and then in the two export commands at the bottom of this script. And before I go ahead and save, I'm going to take one more pass at this script, do a little more editing and remove any parameters in these commands that, you know, note a specific minimum or maximum or elevation range and any specific resolution that was derived from the data I used to create this scripted workflow. So with those final edits complete, I can go ahead and save this edited recorded global mapper script. I'm going to save it to my data folder where I have some data for other sites. And it is a script that creates a digital terrain model and some contour lines. I'm going to save it with the file extension GMS for global mapper script. And then I'll go ahead and run this script for a different data set just to see how that, you know, define variable prompt works. First, I'll stop recording in the script builder and I will unload all data from my workspace. And then I'll choose to run this script in the context of the main view right from the script editor here since I have it open. When I click run script, the first thing Global Mapper does is prompt me to browse for a folder and specify a folder containing LAZ data to continue running this script. With that folder selected, we import the LiDAR files from that directory and 
Global Mapper works through the rest of these script commands to generate the digital terrain model and generate the contour lines and then export each of those layers to the specified formats at the specified location you know, in that data folder. What I've done here is create a script that isn't data specific. Again, this allows me to run this script for any data folder that I have on my machine cont containing ground classified um, LiDAR data in LAZ format. And it allows me to share this script with other global mapper users so that they can run this script and create a digital terrain model and contour lines for any LAZ data that they may have in the directory folder. Now this script, I'm running it through the global mapper user interface here through the script editor in the context of the main view, meaning that we'll see the generated files um, when this script completes running. But you know, it's good to note that a global mapper script doesn't have to be run this way. It can be run on any machine that has global mapper pro installed and licensed. Um, and the global mapper you know, workspace interface doesn't even have to be open to execute this script in order to, you know, create some derivatives from your LIDAR data and export those, save them to some files. So when the script cr completes running, we see the you know, generated data in the workspace um, as if I ran this ran through this workflow through the user interface. And then if I bring in the directory folder from off screen here, we see that in the, the folder I selected from the variable prompt at the beginning of this script that our um, contour lines in DTM have been exported and saved there. So, you know, through the script process, we've sort of automated the generation of um, two derivatives from some LiDAR data into a script that can be shared and used by any other users with any LAZ data. Mackenzie, thank you so much for sharing that information with us. I know that our users will find it very useful. To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, please visit bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Ask the Experts, and we hope to see you next time.